quick, okay. let me, the Cleveland Caps, what is your reaction to that? Man, that's outstanding. I am definitely going to consider that very much. So that lady offered me a full-time job with the Cavs, and then something about the mortgage of, of a home. I'm going with that. I mean, out of all the offers I've had, and I've had quite a few, I'll be working in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I want to take that. I'm going to go through, uh, go through that with Mr. Battle and see if, if, if that's something, an option that I really want to consider. It's really something what's happened to you today. Oh my God, it's, it's just phenomenal. And, and, and it's getting more and more uh, uh, overwhelming as the minutes go by. It's no more like, uh, hey, and it's, it's like minute by minute by minute. And God is good. That's all I can say is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not towards your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways, and he will direct your path. Let me ask you, lastly, can you say watch my story tonight on Fox 8 News? Watch my story tonight on Fox 8 News. No. Thank Let me you. try it again. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, try it again. Watch my story tonight at 8 on... No, no. <laughs> well, I blew it already. Stick with the first one. Well, don't say 10. No, okay. What did I say now? Uh, watch my story tonight on Fox 8 News. Watch my story tonight on Fox 8 News. You used Thank to live in Cleveland High, right? Yeah, I, well, I lived in Euclid. Yeah, you lived in Euclid? Yeah, I How lived long? on 279th in Willow Arms Apartments, wow. and I worked at WJMO, which was on East 118th and Euclid Avenue, and I was the morning man. I was the morning personality, and uh, every weekday mornings, it was the Ted Williams Show on 1490 WJMO Cleveland Heights. What year was that? Uh, 1987. Somebody was mentioning. Yeah, I, I brought the. Uh, I, I used to work at the Front Row Theater. I don't know if you oh, guys I remember, remember I the to, Front Row. I grew up row. right over there. Did people uh, ever somebody, tell you you look somebody, like Sammy Davis Jr.? Yeah, you know, there's a, there's an old old story in, in, in my my childhood that used to say. I mean, if you, I don't know if you've read the book Yes I Can by Sammy, and uh, he had a, uh, a, a love child in in Harlem in 1957. I was supposed to, because I'm an adopted child of my parents right now, and I'm an only child, but there was rumor that my mom was the one that gave me up for it. And I, and, and I look like Sammy Davis. Everybody tells me that, even my partner Eric over here. But uh, Sammy Davis, it was just an old thing. I'm, I'm sure I'm not no product of Sammy, but yeah. Well, you okay. sound good. You look good. I'm Thank ready. you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.